Provo neighborhood and the Provo City School Board. At the heart of it, Dixon Middle School, a 90-year-old school that neighbors say is the anchor of Central Provo. The specialist Debbie Worthen is live at the school tonight. Debbie, what's going on? Well, Dini, figuring out what to do with Dixon Middle School has been in discussions for years. It's old. It needs tons of work, but neighbors here love it. Now, two years ago, 63% of voters voted down on a bond that would shut down Dixon and move it to a new location a couple of miles away. Well, last month, the board, four to three, used what's called a municipal bonding authority to make the decision it doesn't require a public vote to move the school without the blessing of the voters. Well, tonight, those neighbors are fighting back. As voting citizens, we should be allowed to vote. Shannon Bingham has lived on these tree-lined streets near Dixon Middle School for 20 years. Three of these neighborhoods are three of the lowest income neighborhoods in all of Provo. Bingham says families need to be close to their kids' school. Busing them or having them a couple of miles away is not a good option. But the Provo City School Board says rebuilding Dixon on its current site doesn't make sense when just 1.8 miles away at Footprinter Park is a 20 acre plot of land perfect for a brand new school. The new site, it's a clean site. There, there's nothing there. Um, it allows us to have uh, a two story school with the ability in the future to grow if needed. Bingham says not only does she not want a bigger school, she wants the board to build Dixon at its current site. A new school rebuilt at, at this Dixon site will be a brand new school. The programming will be the same. She says neighbors deserve the chance to vote on a bond just for Dixon, but right now that's not happening. As a district, we're planning on moving forward with the project. Under that municipal bond authority, the board can legally bypass a vote. They say they're doing it due to urgency and for the good of the future. For the students, both now and in the future, the board feels like that's what needs to happen. Bingham says a decision this big should not be the choice of four people. It should be up to the people paying for it. Basically comes down to four school board members making the decision to issue bonds and move the school to the edge of the city. Well, there is still much debate going on here. Bingham and a group of parents are trying to get enough signatures on a petition to overturn that decision. That would put this issue on the ballot again next year. The district says it's too late. The decision has already been made. They are moving forward. Now, if you'd like more information on that petition and this uh, fight in general, you can go to KSLTV.com. Back to you. Clearly, a lot of people care about their local school. Debbie, thanks. <laughs>